So in this video, we are gonna take a look at Fibonacci extensions. So what is a Fibonacci extension and how do we use Fibonacci extensions in trading? Real quick, before we jump into the trading education, I just wanna give a quick disclaimer that this video is for educational purposes only and nothing in this video is financial advice. And if you enjoy these types of uh, you know, educational content, it's always super, super awesome if you show that by dropping a like. And if you're interested in more, then you can also uh, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. But all right, guys, now let's jump right into the video. And we can actually start this video real quick by showing how to open the um, Fibonacci extension tool in TradingView. And if you don't have TradingView, don't worry, uh, the Fibonacci extension uh, should be available uh, in pretty much all trading programs. But in TradingView, what you basically do is that you go to the left here where you see this bar that looks like this. You press this one and you actually use what is called Fibonacci retracement. But the Fibonacci retracement tool uh, includes uh, the Fibonacci extensions. So we click this one and now we have our Fibonacci tool ready. So now let's take a look at what is Fibonacci extensions? What is a Fibonacci extension? Well, all of these numbers you can see here on the chart, I hope you can read them. It says, for example, 2.618 here, and here it says 1.618, and all the way up here it says 3.618. All of these numbers are, ba are basically percentages, and we will very soon take a look at where the actual numbers come from, but now we just have to realize that these are percentages. And they are percentages of what? Well, if you take a look here, right now we are on the SPI monthly chart. So the SPI is basically uh, one of the largest stock market indexes in the world. And let's actually zoom in a bit here because to know where the extension numbers come from, we first need to know what Fibonacci retracements are. Uh, and by the way, guys, I actually have a video on Fibonacci retracements, which I recommend that you watch before uh, you continue this video. Or if you already know about Fibonacci retracements, uh, you can just continue watching right away. But as you can see here, this sort of strong move right here was the crash of 2008, which you probably remember if you have been around for a while. And what I did here is that I used our Fibonacci tool from the very high of this swing to the very low. So you can see from the very high of the move to the very low. And then we get our Fibonacci retracement numbers. Uh, and where these come from, uh, we go through in the video, uh, in our video on Fibonacci retracements. But all right, so what are Fibonacci extensions then? Well. As you can see here, the price went down. Um, this is the sort of first swing. And then it recovered and it recovered 100% of the move. So we went back to the previous high level, right? Uh, so right here, we have recovered the whole crash. And what the Fibonacci extensions basically tell us, they are percentages of this whole move. So for example, 1.618 means 162%. And you can think of this as this blue line right here is around 62% above this gray line right here. So to repeat, this whole area right here is 100%. It means that we recovered the whole crash. This whole area right here is 162%. And that means that this area is 62%. So the 1.618 is 62% uh, above the previous high here. And this is the first sort of major extension level. And as you can see here, this is so beautiful in my opinion, it was pretty much exactly at this extension, we saw, you know, sellers coming in here multiple times on the SPI index. This was, you know, years later here in 2015. And then we also have the 2.618 Fibonacci extension. And it is the exact same logic here. The 2.618 is basically 162% 
above the high right here. Or you can also think of it that this whole area from the very low all the way up there is 262%. But all right guys, so now I think we're ready to take a short look at where these numbers come from. And these numbers are actually derived from something we call the Fibonacci sequence or the Fibonacci numbers. So what are the Fibonacci numbers? Well, let's start by just writing a five and an eight here. And if we add five to eight, so we take five plus eight, what do we get then? Well, then we get 13. If we add eight and 13, what do we get then? Well, then we get 21. And if we go on like this, add 13 to 21, we will get 34 and so on and so on. So this is a sequence of numbers that is a very special one. It is called the Fibonacci numbers. And to get the extension numbers, what you do here, this is very cool in my opinion. I'm a nerd, so I like this kind of stuff. So if you take a number and then divide by the previous number, so for example, 21 divided by 13, what do we get then? Well, this is pretty much equal to uh, 1.618. So we can say here around equal to 1.618. Uh, and the further we go in this sequence, the more accurate it will be. Right now we are in the beginning of, of the sequence, so it will not be exactly 1.618, but I hope you get the point here. You can try to do the calculations yourself. And if we wanna get the next Fibonacci extension, the 2.618, what we take is that we take a number and divide by the number two steps to the left. So one, two to the left. In this case, we have 34 divided by 13. And what do we get? We get pretty much, we can say around equal to here, 2.618. So this is where the Fibonacci extension numbers come from. But all right, so now let's take a look at how do we actually use Fibonacci extensions. And the first thing I do want to point out about Fibonacci extensions is that like pretty much all the other tools, they are best used together with other technical variables. For example, candlestick patterns. So you should not rely only on Fibonacci extensions and think that they are sort of a sort of magical levels. You, you should more of see them as potential areas where the price might reverse. And one of the best ways to use Fibonacci extensions, and you probably know this if you have been watching my sort of uh, crypto updates, is that you use them when an asset is breaking all time high. So in this case, you can see when we were right here and broke the old all time high that we printed here all the way back here in November 07. So when we broke this previous all time high, it's often hard to get any reasonable you know, profit targets. But what the Fibonacci extension does is that it gives you a, a potential level where the price might reverse. So we broke this one and we had a steady impulse here to the upside. But then we noticed here that we started to see some sellers coming in pretty much exactly at this 1.618 level. You can see that we started to see some bearish candlesticks here um, and we got some hints that the price might reverse. And as you can see, it looks like you know a lot of traders took profit at this 1.618 level. So that is the one of the best use cases for Fibonacci extensions. You use them to get an area, a potential profit area, or you can also see it as a potential level or area where the price might reverse. And also if we look up to the 2.618 here, you can see that it wasn't as accurate, but you can see that the next sort of move almost went up to this 2.618. You can see we reversed a bit earlier here, got a crash. Uh, so, you know, the extension levels are of course not always perfect, but they can be a good general guidance on where to take profit targets. And if we just take a look at the recent crash here, uh, you can see the, the sort of COVID crash. If we anchor from the high of that crash to the low, so what you do is that you always take, if you are in an uptrend, you anchor from the high of the swing to the low of the swing, so high to low. And then when we break the previous high, like we did right here, the extension, the extension tell us 
potentially how far the next move will be. And you can see that right now we are pretty much exactly on the 1.618. So this is an area where one can be careful because this is possible that we will see a reversal at this area. You can see we don't have, you know, very convincing candlestick patterns right here. But of course, if we break the 1.618, uh, we can, of course, continue here towards the next Fibonacci extension target. But all right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you feel like you got any kind of help or value, then please consider dropping a like. And if you guys are interested in more, then don't hesitate to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day, and I hope I will catch you guys in the next video. But for now, guys, take care. Ciao, ciao.